find the limit as x approaches 0. So whenever you're finding limits, it's always a good idea to start by plugging in the number and seeing what happens. So if we plug in 0 for all of the x's, we get the square root of 1 minus 0. And then here we have a minus 1. On the bottom, we simply get 0. This is equal to the square root of 1 minus 1 over 0. So 1 minus 1 is 0 over 0. So this is indeterminate. And this is one of the indeterminate forms um, that allows us to use something called L'Hopital's rule. So L'Hopital's rule says that when we're taking the limit, uh, and we get one of these forms, 0 over 0, or infinity over infinity, we can just take the derivative of each piece. So before we do that, we should probably rewrite this in a way that allows us to take the derivative. Let's go ahead and rewrite the square root as parentheses 1 minus x squared to the 1 half. We still have the minus 1 all being divided by x. All right, now let's go ahead and apply L'Hopital's. So this is the limit. As x approaches 0, so taking the derivative in the numerator, we'll bring down the 1 half. We'll use the chain rule here. Leave the inside untouched. And then 1 half minus 1 is negative 1 half times the derivative of the inside, which is negative 2x. And the derivative of negative 1 is 0. On the bottom, we have the derivative of x, which is 1. 2's cancel. So we're, this is equal to the limit as x approaches 0. We're left with a negative x upstairs. Then we can bring this piece downstairs. So it'll become 1 minus x squared to the 1 half, because the exponent uh, becomes positive. At this point, we can just go ahead and plug in 0. And when we do that, it's important to drop the limit sign. This will become 0, so negative 0, which is just 0, over 1 minus 0 to the 1 half. Well, 0 over 1 is equal to 0. So the answer is 0. That's it.